Hey guys, Sam with Working Success coming with you with another video here and today is going to be an interpersonal advice video. And the theme of this one is one I actually robbed from a man named George Bruno on YouTube who's helped me through a few situations in life. And uh, this advice I'll share with you is entitled, Everybody's Cool Until They're Not. Woo, that's a true one. I'm getting a good dose of that in my life here lately, and uh, it's about as true as I know how to put it. It's really good advice, so I want to I want to pay this one forward. So thanks, George, for the good advice. And uh, that's today's topic on this video. No matter who you work with, who you're around in life, or who you've been living life with, everybody's cool until they're not. When you're at work and you think that you've got a really good relationship with somebody, everybody's cool. You're cool with that person until something happens and then you're not. Let's say that you're working on a project and you get along super well with your manager. You've been busted, huh? And you're making that manager look great. You're turning out all kinds of work. You're doing some of the best work of your life. And then that manager takes all the credit for the entire project pays you zero, zero credit for it. You thought you were cool with that manager, but now you're not. Because you did the bulk of the work. They provided direction and goals like they should have. But now you're left holding the bag of doing all the work and that person took all the credit. You might be dating somebody and you guys think that you're clicking along and you guys, this is the coolest person I've ever been with in life. And then something happens and you guys realize that you're not on the same page. Everybody's cool until they're not, right? It was cool until you realized that one thing was pretty much a deal breaker. You got to own it. You got to figure that one out. Then you got to figure out, hey, I got to learn from this. How do I keep this situation from happening in my life again? We were getting along really well until this happened and now this is just something we can't get past. I get it, I really do. But you have to figure that out. You have to put your best interest in mind and then move forward. Now what does that even mean? Okay, I'm gonna tell you what that means. And at work, in a career situation, everybody's cool until they're not. If your boss is hogging all the credit and they're taking all the credit and they're getting the promotions and they're just tossing you under the bus every time is it in your best interest to keep working in that department I'm going to say it's not I'm going to say that you need to figure out a way to get into a different department maybe it's time to start working for another company that does appreciate you and does give you the credit you deserve for your hard work I get it I've been in all those situations you might think that you get along with a person in life. Maybe your best friend in life is just somebody that you've been thick as thieves with since you were 12 years old. Since you were in kindergarten together. And then they make a really tough decision. They make a really bad decision that affects you. Maybe they borrow money from you and then they start using you and they don't pay you back because they've got some issues going on. Thankfully in my life I... I've only really experienced that with like one time with somebody I thought was a friend and they were cool until they weren't. And buddy, let me tell you, once they weren't cool, I didn't want them around me, my family, my kids, anybody at all. Turned out that person had a lot of, a lot of heavy issues going on. But the purpose of this video, the sole purpose of this video is for me to tell you that at all times you have to look out for yourself because as much as people tell you that they care about you or they're looking out for you. And no matter how much a boss tells you they appreciate you, their actions have to match their words in order for that to be true. With friends, with family, with relationships, at work, you put your best interest in mind because nobody else is going to do that for you. We all like to think our moms and dads are going to do that and your brothers and sisters are going to do that for you and your best friends are going to do that for you but they are making decisions and giving you advice that's based on their experience and their perspective in life there's a lot of 
dysfunctional family members out there in the world? Are you trying to live your life in a way that pleases them, but it's negative towards you? And it could be. Is that in your best interest? Does that person have your best interest in mind? Because everybody's cool until they're not. And when, they not, when they're not cool, it generally goes south pretty quick. So that's just my little tip, some life experience for you guys today. You might think you get along with somebody really well up until the time they decide that the way they want to go in your life, in their life, and the way that you want to go in your life aren't aren't meshing up anymore. And at that point in time, you have to make a decision. What is it that you need to do? What's in your best interest? I lived my life for a very long time, putting everybody else's best interest in mind. And for the previous 20 or so years, that didn't really work out for me so hot. In careers and relationships with some friends. And uh, yeah, try to take some experience from me and go forth with that. Learn from my mistakes instead of having to make them yourself, right? All right, guys, as always, I appreciate you all watching these videos. Please consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and hitting the notification icon so we can notify you when we post new content. And I'll see you next time.